in a last ditch attempt, the glorious British Empire is trying to regain control of its former colonies, but this time in a new advanced technique. Instead of conquering their land, the UK is demanding that they're given access to all data from every country and every citizen of that country. The first victim to this tyranny is Apple. The UK has demanded that Apple build in backdoors that they can access into iCloud. If you're not familiar with iCloud, it's Apple's cloud-based backup service. So anytime a iPhone user takes a picture, downloads an app, or does anything on their phone, it automatically gets backed up to iCloud. This feature is extremely useful if you lose your phone or you buy a new phone and you want to transfer over all the data. Right now, everything on iCloud is encrypted, meaning that if anyone is able to hack in or get access to your data, they won't be able to see what's actually being stored there. However, now the British are demanding a secret way for them to decrypt all this data and see what users are storing. I know what you're all thinking. I'm not British. The only thing I know about them is James Bond, Doctor Who, and IT Crowd. But I've got bad news for you. This law isn't specific to British citizens. The British government wants access to all Apple user data including from users inside of America, China, India, and the rest of the world. And Android users, you cannot sleep easy just yet. Google, and specifically Android, are another target for the UK government. Androids have the same encrypted backup feature that iPhones have. When asked, Google said it can't access Android's end-to-end -end encrypted backups, even with legal orders. But... They never said whether they've been approached by any government to build a backdoor. The reason Google can't say if they've been approached by the British government is because the UK has a strict no snitch policy, aka you're not allowed to talk about them forcing backdoors into your encrypted data. So Apple and Google are not allowed to talk about it. That also means if a secret British backdoor does come into place, users are not allowed to be notified. Meaning you'll never know that your phone has just become a secret listening device for the Brits. Now all of this is possible because of a law passed 10 years ago called the Investigory Power Act of 2016. Now this law requires web and phone companies in the UK to store records of every website visited by citizens, allows for British security services to hack into any phone or computer and to bypass any encryption on that phone. And internet and phone companies within the UK must be able to intercept and collect personal data passing through their network. If companies like Apple and Google do not comply with this law, they face the chance of being banned outright from the UK. At the time, they claimed it was to catch criminals and to protect children, and that it would never affect regular British people and would not be a tactic to spy on them. Mr Speaker, some have characterised this power as law enforcement having access to people's full web browsing histories. Let me be clear, this is simply wrong. An internet connection record is a record of the communication service that a person has used not a record of every web page they have accessed. So if someone has visited a social media website, an internet connection record will only show that they accessed that site, not the particular pages they looked at or who they communicated with or what they said. It is simply the modern equivalent of an itemized phone bill. And just like most promises in most governments, looks like we've been lied to and this is just another tactic for them to spy on us. This isn't even the first time the British government tried to ban encryption. In 2015, the then Prime Minister David Cameron tried to ban WhatsApp and iMessage, stating that the government can't read the messages in extreme situation and they should ban all encryption outright. Seems like the three things the UK government hates the most are spices, European unions, and encryption. If Apple does allow this backdoor, that means that other countries will be requesting for the same 
type of access. And I would bet a million dollars on an 100 leg parlay that the FBI and the CCP are just excited for this backdoor to go through. Not only will other governments ask for their own backdoor, but hackers will now have a new attack vector that they can use to steal user data. Right now, Apple is standing firm in saying they will not implement this backdoor. Instead, they will be stopping some of their encryption services in the UK, which means that the British consumer will suffer. If you live in the UK or you care about your privacy, I would suggest using apps like Signal. They famously don't store data about their users and have end-to-end -end encryption for all of their messages. Overall, this is a lesson for those of us who care about anonymity and privacy online. There is no one out there looking out for our data and for our privacy. We have to stay informed and try our best to protect ourselves. Before I get taken out by a British musket ball, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.